Alright, I think it's time to finish up my uh, PS2 mouse to Mac 128K slash 512K slash Lisa project. So, I've drawn up the schematic here. It's a little messy up around here, but it'll do. And I've drawn up this quick uh, PCB and keycad. Uh, just give you a quick 3D display here. So as you can see, this side here will go to the computer. So you can see the little uh, D, DB9 and the chip and uh, the resistor there. And then this side will face away from the user. Uh, and there will also be a USB port attached to the back here where you can plug in your, uh, your mouse. And um, if we look here at the Mac, so this is the uh, mouse port, so it will stick up a little bit like this, and uh, the USB connector will uh, be plugged in this way here, so you won't have any wires sticking out the side, which doesn't look very good, so that's why I made it this way. So, got a bag of parts, you can see the slightly higher profile. D9 connector here, see that black thing sticking out there, so that uh, I'll have room for all the parts, USB connector, circuit board, and a mouse that says PS2 compatible over here, even though it has a USB, because while this thing might have a USB connector that I'm building, uh, it won't actually support USB, it's just raw PS2, but uh, I don't want to deal with those little adapters from uh, USB to uh, PS2 connector, so I'm just going to put a USB connector directly on there. And ironically enough, it's a Microsoft mouse. <laughs> Very important if you're using components that you haven't used before with your particular PCB package, that you make sure that uh, you know all the footprints line up. They do, so uh, obviously these are on the wrong side, but since they're symmetrical, it shouldn't matter. Uh, so, okay, that checks out. I'm going to mirror this because it's going to go on the top, of course. And uh, let's get cracking. Are you hungry, Laminator? You want it? You want it? Good. Alright, so I've programmed it using my bus pirate here. Um, there is an ICSP header there, but I uh, didn't have a connector handy, so I just kind of wired it up there. And it's running now, as you can see when I click, the little light turns on. So, looking good, looking good. Let's see uh, if it works on the actual machine. Alright, so here's the computer. So let's set this up. So first things first, <laughs> learn how to do this one-handed. Second thing, you plug this in. <laughs> there we go. Third step, plug it in the mouse connector. There we go. There. So even without the screws in there, it's nice and secure. It's not going anywhere. So, fateful moment. Let's try turning it on. Let's hope for no explosions. Now interestingly, the Mac doesn't actually need an OS in order to test the mouse. Oh yes, there it goes. Uh oh, I'm missing one of the lines. Alright, well, hold on a sec. A little bit of troubleshooting. Alright, so my bad. Apparently the uh, ATtiny84 pin assignments for the Arduino environment uh, make no sense, well, to me. Uh, I'm sure there's perfectly valid reasons for them being what they are. But anyways, I screwed that up, but I fixed it. So let's power this thing on. Oh, okay. This thing sometimes doesn't like to start up. It is getting old, you know. There it is. All right, as you can see, it is working perfectly fine. Nah, it's hard for you to see everything. Didn't I have this problem in the uh, other video? Yes, I did. But anyways, so it's working. Let's feed it a floppy. There we go. Hmm. 
<laughs> this isn't exactly the best mousing surface. Let's get a piece of paper. There we go. That's better. Eh, let's open up MacWrite. Cool. Alright, let's exit out of here. Nope. So as you can see, it works perfectly fine. Apart from me moving the piece of paper along with the mouse. There we go. Holding it down with one finger, moving with the other. you think I would set this up properly, but uh, anyways. Let's shut this thing down. Thank you. And let's take a look at the hardware again. And here it is. Well, I would call that mission successful. Now, of course, I only did this to have a little fun. I mean, you know, you can get mice for the Mac uh, pretty cheap on eBay. It's like 20 bucks. Um, and there's always a couple of them on there. But that being said, I mean, this is a pretty useful little device. So, uh, you know, maybe in the future, these mice start getting a bit more uh, expensive and hard to find. Or maybe you don't want to spend 20 bucks on a mouse. You know, there's only about 5 or $6 worth of parts in this entire device. You know, excluding the mouse, which you can get for just like two bucks somewhere. Um, so, if you're interested in building one of these, of course, you can just go to my blog, which is down there linked, um, and just download all the, the plans, you know, the schematic, the PCB layout, the software. You know, it is open hardware, and you can see the little logo up there. So, feel free to make your own. Uh, alternatively, if you're interested in a device like this, uh, do let me know because I might be willing to start up a little kit service, you know, nothing fancy, but you know, you send me a small amount of money and I make the PCB for you and, well, depending on demand, I might even assemble it for you, um, alternative, you know, otherwise I'll just send you a little baggie of parts. But uh, yeah, I don't expect to make any money off of this thing. Uh, I'll do that just as a service to the community because um, these are cool machines and uh, it's too bad if they're just sitting around not doing anything so bring them back to life and you know play with them so anyways uh, thanks for watching I hope you found uh, this video and probably the first video in the series uh, you know helpful and uh, kind of uh, interesting at least uh, or informative and if you thought so thumbs up Cool, thanks.